Hola. Okay, this is it. Hola. Hola, hola. <laughs> so, what does everyone think of their mole? Sometimes I worry that if we don't learn how to do it from scratch, if we only buy, you know, what's already made, you know, um, that's going to be lost. Cooking with David just went up a notch. Hola, buenas tardes, and welcome back. Right, after our wonderful trip to San Luis Potosí over the last month, which I'm sure you will agree was amazing, I'm back in the hustle and bustle of Mexico City. It is really good to be back, actually. I must admit, you know, there's something I love about big cities like this. It's really hot, it's Saturday morning, and I'm in Coyacan once again. Why am I in Coyacan? Let me explain. So, if you follow my Instagram stories and also my YouTube community tab, you'll know that a few weeks ago I was asking for volunteers because I was approached by a subscriber who lives here who does an Airbnb experience and basically it's a Molo Poblano cooking class so this video is a food video and in terms of other people what I was asking for on those posts was that I wanted some, some subscribers to join in so I've got some people coming along today as well so amazingly you won't just have to look at my face for the whole video which is great and you know you know that I do some humorous cooking with David videos this one's gonna be a bit different because I'm hoping there will be some level of expertise involved and also you're gonna learn a bit about Molle Poblano which is great so let's get going okay I think this is it okay this is it hola, hola, hola. <laughs> suscriptores del canal de, de David, uh, mi nombre es Nefer y hoy vamos a cocinar un delicioso mole poblano aquí en México, Ciudad de México. Ok, everyone is here. Say hello everyone. Hola. So, who have we got? Laura. And... Alex. Lovely. And we got... Ashley. Lovely. And of course, the Nefer. lovely... Nefer. Nefer there, lovely. Fantastic. So, we're going to get going. Who's excited? <laughs> so first, uh, who knows what uh, pico de gallo has? Cebollas, ajá, cebollas, jitomate, 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 cilantro, chile serrano. Mm -hmm. That's limón, yes. But instead of la, uh, lime, we are going to use uh, olive oil, and you will you will find that. Uh, mm -hmm. For me, it's a very taste with olive oil. So let's start because we all are going to cook. I'm going to assign you a task. I know that in United States, for instance, or a, a, a board, Fuera uh, de Mexico, uh, they call them, they call this tomate, tomato. No, the, the original name is jitomate because shitomato, do you know what means shitomate in Spanish or in English? Shitomate means um watery fruit with a navel we're going to use for pico de gallo only the flesh okay, so we remove all the seeds and then dice it in very very small pieces in in minutes okay? so i'm going to give you this task to you and dice it in very small pieces okay and for you and don't touch your eyes yes don't yeah. touch your eyes <laughs> So what's this called? This is choconostli. It's a fruit from a cactus and it has a soury taste. So here we have all the seeds, we remove it and we peel it. Well, we should peel it before. It looks really good. Have it, have it, please. Delicious. Now I'm gonna reheat some tortillas to have a taco placero with chicharrón. Mm -hmm. This is how construction workers eat uh, at work. So they fix tacos like this 
And then, since uh, uh, chicharrón is very, very dry, um, this, this pico de gallo is perfect. I'm gonna ask you to peel the, oh, the carrots and dice it very, very small. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you the peeler. Mm -hmm. Also, you're going to dice half, half of this, this. place. You are going to slice maybe two or three teeth. Okay. And David, you're mm -hmm. gonna <laughs> peel green peas. Oh my God, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> we add onions. Rice and continue frying. You cook it over the burner, um, you let it sit, and then you kind of toss it and move it around for a bit, little to spread it around. Let it sit a couple of seconds. Do another toss, move it around, and let it sit. And you just do that continuously. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? You are going to smell okay. the garlic, the garlic and Ooh. the onion. Very garlicky. Yes. Mm. Garlic lady has done a good job. Yes. <laughs> right now we've sniffed the rice. Let's see what Alejandro's doing in the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> well, Alejandro is going to add the jitomate juice mm -hmm. to the fried ah. rice. Yes. Mix it. Once it is mixed, mm -hmm. uh, leave it. So, so I'm adding the green peas, yeah? Yes. All of them? Yes, all of them. <laughs> Lovely. And stir it, yeah? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> and where's the camera, camera lady now? Mm, very tomatoey. Here we have a, a, a bunch of chilies. <laughs> if we want it more spicy, we add more morita. More morita, yes. Okay. So the one that we know as chipotle. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. but in a smaller version. Chipotle mm. is bigger and chile morita is the same, but a smallest. And the stems, yes, and the seeds, you can put them in the waste. We're going to use pecan and almonds. Mm -hmm. almonds grapes, raisins, sesame. Ah, oh, perfecto. That's the ultimate ingredient. Cinnamon, and powder, anise, smell it, black pepper, chocolate. This is a chocolate abuelita, a brand from Mexico. Not <laughs> You can. And uh, onion and garlic. Traditionally, all these, uh, all those ingredients are grinded in a metate. This is a metate. Uh, this is a small metate, mm -hmm. <laughs> almost a, a toy. <laughs> but we are going to uh, start by grinding these ingredients on this metate. See, by toasting them, they are very, very crunchy. Mm -hmm. They look delicious. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. It grinds it up very, very fine. Yeah. You did it look really easy. Yeah. Mas <laughs> 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 Yeah. You ever use a metate before? Uh, I used to when I was a kid. Uh -huh. You know, I tried and I, ¿cómo se dice? Machuca los dedos. Yeah. Oh. Put my fingers on it and I hated oh, the yeah. taste. <laughs> Done this before. Yes. <laughs> Add some water. Exactly. That's the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that they they came up with this sweet sauce, 
sweet chili sauce. <coughs> the visitor was so pleased that he made to retile the complete kitchen of these nuns uh, with very expensive tiles, Puebla tiles, Talavera tiles, and you can visit this convent uh, on Pue in Puebla <coughs> to see the original kitchen where this recipe was made. So All yeah, Mexican women must be very strong. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like that meme with the dog. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Literally, no clue. Who wants to go? Tres. Tres. You see that we haven't added any chocolate yet. Mm, I was just thinking about that. Yes, yeah. that's for the at last. At the end, it's when we add chocolate. The chocolate is coming. Okay, perfect. Abuelita. <laughs> Let's add it. Okay. As your birthday is coming. Oh yeah, it's my this birthday is your, soon. Yes, this is your mo the the moment of your birthday. Actually, so the whole thing goes in. Yes. Yes, chocolate goes in mole, people, if you didn't know already. Abuelita, amazing. You just chuck it in or break it up? Yeah, not a couple, the, the whole piece. Someone piece. being really loved and yes. eat, chuck it in. <laughs> <laughs> what are we getting? Otro, otra abuelita. <laughs> there can never be enough chocolate. So because of the chocolate, it's developed that darker brown yes. colour. Amazing. Okay, so while the mole is cooking in the wonderful mole pot, yes. <laughs> we're going to ask some questions. Laura, so why for you are you here? What's, um, what's the reason you want to know about mole? Well, I want to know because, uh, I don't know, I love mole, we all do, um, but we don't know how to cook it. Um, sometimes I worry that if we don't learn how to do it from scratch, if we only buy, you know, what's already made, you know, um, that's going to be lost and in a few years nobody, only a few people is going to know how to do it so yeah. I don't want it to be lost. Awesome, so now all of us know how to make mole. The holders of the <laughs> <laughs> okay and Alejandro what about you? What, what about you? What's, what, what's your reason for wanting to learn about mole? Mm, uh, the experience. Um, jump into something different because uh, in, in the um, in the routine, we don't uh, used to pay attention of uh, our culture mm. about doing uh, the things uh, from zero um, at this point. No? So it's really amazing to share this uh, uh, of our culture with, with you. No? Mm. Also, and learn also. something uh, that it's authentic yeah. about culture. And I think it's the same with English food for me as well, because I would be exactly the same, you know, with typical English dishes, other than what my mum told me when I was a child. Um, so yeah, awesome experience today, I think, mm. people. <laughs> and Laura's got, Laura's got lumbered with the That's washing up, the, unfortunately. The <laughs> and last but not least, what about Ashley? So Ashley is a bit different, because Ashley is not from Mexico, obviously. So, so why, why are you in Mexico City, Ashley? Um, so I'm from the US. And I'm here because I'm a PhD doctoral student uh, studying Mexican history. So I'm here to complete my research for my dissertation. Um, I study urbanization in Mexico post 1940. Uh, so I love the metro. I love all the freeways. I love everything about urbanization in this city. Fantastic. And and I have found someone who is obsessed with the metro as much yes. as I am. Yes. <laughs> so gringos, Brits, we can get the metro no problem, can't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. No problem. Absolutely. Fantastic. And where are you where are you staying in Mexico City? Polanco. Awesome. And yes. what, what what do you like about Polanco? Um, not gonna lie, I like that it's super bougie, because that's that's bougie. partly who yeah. I am, so it, you know it fits. But I like that it has the bouginess, but also I can go down the street and get some amazing tacos mm. uh, that are suadero, pastor, oh, yeah. whatever. So Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's a combination of both. Fantastic. Yeah, I think that's one reason I love Polanco so much. Mm -hmm. You've got that developed side, but right. then also traditional side right. as well. So awesome. Okay, mean 
while. I serve some red rice. Then beautiful piece of chicken with mole. <laughs> Make sure that is completely vain on this sauce. Put some more mole on the side. And then we sprinkle some sesame on the top. And that's it. Voila! Okay. Okay. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what does everyone think of their mole? Mm. Delicioso. Delicioso. Mm -hmm. We did an ex we did an excellent job, didn't we? We didn't we didn't need this lady. We did it all ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, amazing. And I have almost an empty plate. What was that thing again about the pig? Uh, when you eat this much, you get the el mal del puerco. Ailment of the pig. <laughs> <laughs> which is a which is a regular occurrence. <laughs> Wonderful. You get drowsy mm. and you want to oh, to sleep yeah. <laughs> all the afternoon. <laughs> right, six hours later, and we're all finished up at the Molly Poblano cooking class. Oh my god, it was totally awesome. You know, as I said, six hours, so I can't fit everything into a ten to fifteen minute video. I'm sure you can appreciate, but overall, I think what you've seen sums up the class very well. Nefa, the host, was absolutely brilliant. The knowledge and experience she has both in terms of cooking but also in terms of Mexican history and interesting facts was brilliant. It was really enjoyable and thank you to Lara, Ashley and Alejandro for coming along. It really made the difference. I think it's, would be a, it's a much better video with them in than not just me. And it's good to get some other points of view, particularly from Ashley about her views on Palanco and the Metro. You know, it's so great to meet someone who has an appreciation for that sort of thing. And my hair's now a mess. And the Mole Poblano, oh my God. I can't let it put into words how much I loved it. Cooking with David just went up a notch. Well, cooking with other people. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Um, consider this as something you should do when you come to Mexico City, or maybe you live in Mexico City and you just want to do something different. Consider it. All the details are down in the description below. You can check it out on Airbnb. So, um, wonderful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.